now moving towards the next structure uh, we will discuss bladder and the urethra uh, the bladder it is a dome shaped structure and it has the opening of the ureteric orifice at the uh, two apex of the trigone trigone is a structure that is present in the posterior wall and uh, uh, the most important uh, is the pubo cervical fascia uh, the fascia it is a loose areolar tissue that separates the anterior vaginal wall from the bladder and the clinical implication of this uh, structure the pubocervical fascia is that the defect in the fascia it results in cystocele and urethra that is uh, 3.5 centimeters long and uh, it it is upper two third of the urethra that is separated from the pubic symphysis by the connective tissue and the lower one third of uh, it is attached to the pubic bone uh, so uh, the upper part of the urethra that is mobile and the lower part of the urethra that is attached to the pubic bone uh, the urethra it pierces the urogenital diaphragm as uh, shown in the picture and uh, besides that uh, the urethra it has the internal sphincter uh, muscles and the external sphincters and the external sphincters these are the striated muscles and it is also called the compressor urethra. Uh, now heading towards the most important uh, topic of uh, today's lecture uh, the course of the ureter it is very very important uh, in IMM paper in talks and in FCPS both in the written and viva whenever uh, you come across uh, the case of uterovaginal prolapse you come across the course of the ureter uh, the um, in this diagram I have uh, shown about the uh, yellow as the ureter uh, now ureter when it passes ureter when it passes over the pelvic rim it lies in front of the common iliac artery this is the aorta this is the uh, common iliac artery and uh, after it come as it comes in front of the common iliac artery it runs downwards and once it runs downwards it passes beneath the uh, uterine artery which i have uh, made red this is the uterine artery in the broad ligament and then it runs through the uh, ureteric tunnel in the upper part of the cardinal ligament this is the cardinal ligament as i have already told that uh, the cervix and the supravaginal part that is supported by the ligament this is called the cardinal ligament or the transverse cervical ligament so the ureter it passes beneath the cardinal ligament and it runs close to the lateral fornices it runs close to the lateral fornices of the vagina and uh, uh, it entered the trigone of the bladder so it is very important like um, this is